50 yard target. Harvick inside of Pruitt for fourth place. Pruitt shuts the door on him. Harvick hits him back, and he gets fellows. Big pile up down in turn two. Took out his teammate. Took out his own car, yo. They're still running into each other trying to get through it. Brad Coleman involved. Ron Hornaday involved. And up front, Robbie Gordon by Ambrose, who goes back on him. Caution flags waving. Well, we wonder what the loops are with this thing. Boy, uh, we didn't see the pass, but it looks like the back of Ambrose's car, the right rear corner, is all tore up. So obviously, uh, he might have repaid the favor. And Robbie Gordon still sitting sideways on the track, trying to get turned back around the other way. Marcus did what he wanted to do on the beginning of that. He did yard him a couple car lengths. So one and two was good, but obviously, when he got to three and four, he might have got a little help. So things going all kinds of crazy here on a restart with four laps to go. First, they pile up behind the leaders down in turns one and two. All kinds of damage on some of these cars coming back around. And then the race for the lead goes crazy as well with Robbie Gordon and Marcus Ambrose. And Gordon ends up sitting sideways and backwards on the racetrack. And the full course caution is out. You know, some of these guys didn't put a scratch on their racetrack. So four laps to go. And now they're all tore up. Uh, here's a, a it's Robbie Gordon, first of all, coming back uh, up the racetrack, so we might want to keep an eye on that, see if he's going to come knocking. Yeah. He is going to come knocking, I believe. Well, but if he started it, you know, you, you have to be able, you can give it, you got to be able to take it. NASCAR usually doesn't take too kindly to contact between the cars under caution, especially when uh, it's, a, it's a payback issue. Well, Mark has got to be very careful here. You, you don't mess up his toe on his car. Well, here, here's the other question I have, Randy, is when was the caution thrown? Yeah, exactly you talked right. about the scoring loops and how NASCAR freezes the field under the caution. Was the caution for the pileup in turn one, and who was leading when the caution came out? All right, first of all, here's the big stack up down in turns one and two. Well, they got in there, and they just run out of room. They were both going to the bottom of the racetrack. And when that happens, uh, you know, these guys, some of these guys' brakes might be lower than other guys, and they just pile, pile, pile right into each other. <laughs> and they kept on piling in. Yes. Uh, well, I mean, Kevin probably wasn't too happy because he was, he was pushed off into the grass, and he wanted to tell the 41, I didn't really appreciate that. And on board, Kevin Harvick. Yep, he got in there on the outside of the guy and got pushed into the grass and uh, trying to make it back to the inside. And from Pruitt. That's the worst thing when you're sitting there. When you're sitting there and then things starts hitting stuff. Boy, things have gone downhill in a hurry for this team contending to win the race just uh, a little while ago. It looked like there was a couple accidents <laughs> happening there. Uh, the 77 got pushed off the track, and he come back on the track and, and got, there was two different wrecks, but they all ended up in the same pile. And now, between the top two for the race lead. You can see that flag waving on the outside there. So Robbie Gordon riding around next to Marcus Ambrose probably We have another look at it here. We, we didn't see what Caution happened. Caution flag waving. Yeah. When they came around that corner. So, uh, and this is just speculation on my part, but I'm speculating that Robbie Gordon is saying, hey, the caution flag was out, so I'm the race leader. And Even though I like got they, hit and spun. And it looks like they put them, well, I'm not, they're, they're, they got, uh, they've been messing with it. Oh, they switched again. Gordon in the front, Ambrose. Well, in the that's front. just that's just where they're where they're crossing the scoring loops on the racetrack. Oh, Randy see. flipping the, the automatic scoring that you're looking at over there. The question has to come from race control: Who is leading the race? When did the caution come out? Correct. And what's the picture here uh, for these final laps of the race? Oh, and by the way, uh, we're running out of laps here too. <laughs> yeah. Everybody says green, white, checkered. 
green and white checker, some of these guys weren't going to make it. Uh, the word from race control is that Marcus Ambrose is the leader of the race. Where are they going to put Robbie Gordon? And that's question number two. When did the caution come out and where does 55 go and how is this going to look for the finish? So we'll wait for the uh, word from the officials on that one. But in the meantime, they're cleaning up the mess and uh, going to get this thing put back together and we'll go back racing again for these final few laps. They might be giving these guys one to go in the backstretch. That's usually where they do it. Well, they still got a couple of pieces of equipment out on the racetrack here, the safety equipment going back to their uh, their spots around the course. There is the damage to Jeff Burton's car. It's a great view. He's just going in. It's okay. I'm all good. I'm just going to take this corner. Oh, I see a couple of guys wrecking. I'm slowing down. Bam! That was that second wreck I was talking about. He just got cleaned out from behind. Marty? Yeah, Alan, they're down here. They pulled out the baseball bats. They're putting on duct tape. The 29's pretty used up. Burton was pretty calm, though, about it. I think that when you get down to the end of a road course race like this, such things are apt to happen. Burton will get back out on the racetrack and finish the race. But again, this car's pretty used up. This was a day that this team was going to gain on Carl Edwards' team in that owner's championship that we talked about earlier on the NASCAR Countdown. But now, not uh, as, they're not going to gain as much. Yeah, Edwards is out in uh, 30th place on the racetrack, and Jeff Burton is on pit road getting his car put back together. And right now being shown in 16th, uh, still on the lead lap, but uh, that's subject to change depending on how long he, he uh, yes, sits there. Trying to go back and uh, show uh, a little different angle on what happened with the leaders. Here's how Robbie Gordon made the pass on Ambrose to get in front of him, and then the continuation. So Gordon by there, and then Ambrose back off that same corner. Ambrose got a great bite up off that corner, and just kind of jacked Robbie up, and it's going a little quicker than Robbie was. Vince? You know, one of the worst people you can be in a situation like this is a NASCAR official because they're going to get from both camps, certainly down here in the uh, 55 camp of, uh, of Robbie Gordon. The crew was pleading that indeed Robbie was ahead or should have been ahead of Marcus Ambrose when that yellow came out. And all in, in good nature, but uh, certainly the NASCAR officials are the guys that the teams are looking for immediately when there's some sort of controversy this late in the race. So uh, Robbie Gordon will be back in that number two position, but the guys down here aren't too happy about it in the 55 camp. Well, actually, trying to trying to hear uh, where Robbie Gordon is going to be in the restart order here as uh, NASCAR is looking at some video and trying to sort out the, the running order when the caution came out and who goes where and, and uh, so on. So we got one of those situations going on right here. That's right, and Andy Pilgrim's like, hey, I'm second, not you. Mm -hmm. It's tough. Tough to be the referee, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be coming to the green flag. Three wide? And I, yeah, the, my, my <laughs> question is still, who is the second place car going to be? And if it's not Robbie Gordon, where in line is he going to be? Hearing that he's not going to be the second the second car in line. We're going to find out where 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 they do put him in line. It's going to be a little bit farther back in the pack, I think. I don't believe Robbie's going to be up there knocking around with the leader for the win here. Well, what happens is when, when they freeze the field, you know, I think you have to be you have to maintain a certain speed. So Robbie was turned around there, couldn't get the thing fired back. So that's one of the things that's going to be difficult. And that's a decision that's not going to make him happy. NASCAR, all right, we're not coming to the restart, obviously. The pace car is still on the track. While they sort it out, let's take a break. We'll come back for the finish. <laughs> 